Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Casanova coming at you with another one. You already know what it is. Just announced fresh off the presses. Man, Street Fighter 6, the teaser trailer just dropped. The announcement just came in. Uh, we also got an announcement for, what is it? Capcom Fighting Collection, which is going to have, uh, let's see. I'm going to go look at this. It's got basically Darkstalkers, uh, Night Warriors, Vampire Hunter 2, Vampire Savior, Vampire Savior 2, Hyper Street Fighter 2, Anniversary Edition, Red Earth, Super Gem Fighter, Cyberbots, and Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. All with online play. But we're going to go ahead and dive into this Street Fighter 6 uh, teaser trailer. I mean, this got leaked about a year and a half ago. And I remember talking to... Um, some some folks i can't i can't name names but they they are part of the street fighter world uh and this is that th this is going to be using unreal engine 6 or un no, unreal engine 4 or 5 i think 5 and um it's going to have a completely different art style than what we're used to so anyways we're going to go ahead and dive into it before we do that make sure you sub to the channel like the video share it all that good stuff support on patreon.com slash mikhail casino let's get to it because it's not wasting time Yep, this is Unreal Engine. Okay, that's Ryu. All right, you ready? Holy shit! Bruh! Street Fighter Six. Yo. Okay, so that was Luke. That was Luke and Ryu. We gotta run that back, yo. So Ryu's he's he's using that that new outfit that was like a um the DLC one for Street Fighter Five where he was like you know without the top and he had the long hair, the mustache, and everything. So that's his official new look. And then Luke, yo, did you see how hot? Yo, let's run that back. Run that. Let's run that one more time. Yo, look at that. Just look at the detail, man. Yo, finally, we are away from that, from the cartoony style. So technically, this is, this is RE engine. This is RE engine right here. All right, you ready? The hip hop theme. Street Fighter Six. Yo, let's, let's we gotta look at some more details on this. Look, yo, run, run it back one more time. Let's look, look. Okay. Okay. So he doesn't. He's not using the old gloves he had used to have. These gloves are similar to the ones that Akuma uses. Or used to. All right, so this is the outfit that he had in Street Fighter Five. This is like what they call what handsome Ryu. Yeah, because look, he's got his um. It actually kind of reminds me of uh um. The dude from uh, fighting fighters uh fighters history. So he's got his abs wrapped up. He doesn't have the top of his gi anymore. He's got brown gloves. Yo, look at that muscle flex. That muscle definition is ridiculous. He's got um he's got the beard mustache now. Okay, he's now wearing ga uh, like uh traditional like samurai style uh gaitas or sandals. So he's he's not barefoot anymore. So he's ascended to um uh basically oh no, it's, I, mean, I don't know. This is maybe him post training with Oro. All right, you ready? Yo, and just look at Luke. So Luke, he looks different. I didn't see the braces on him, but yeah, this is Luke. This is 100% Luke. So Luke is, I'm assuming, going to be the poster child 
before Street Fighter Six. This is what it's looking like. I know they said he was going to be the future of Street Fighter, but like, they they they're not joking. I don't mind his outfit. So he's got the T. He's got the T with the design, um, from his tat. Okay, so he's got that the the zip up hoodie. He's got his dog tags. He's got the Justin Bieber like haircut, you know, with the 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 low cut fade right here. You ready? I didn't see. Yeah, so zip up hoodie. He's got his gloves. Looking at Ryu. Look at the detail in the cloth, bruh. Yo, the detail is ridiculous. Look at Ryu. Look at this grown ass man. Look at this grown at look, look, man. He looking swole. He ain't looking like Rio, no neck Sakazaki swole, but man, if this is the gra this graphical style. Ooh, this is going, this is going to hurt KOF. Not that KOF looks bad or anything, but just, just yo, man, they took it to a new level. But yeah, he's got the mustache, the beard. He's got his headband on. You can see the micro. Yo, this is a next gen game. Ooh, ooh, look at that! You can see the individual hairs. You can see the scars on his arm, faded out gloves. Yo. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's got uh, his braces anymore. But he looks hyped to fight Ryu. And look at that. Look, he got that pie pie action going on. Let's go back. Look at Ryu. Look at Ryu. My dude. Looking like a man. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, he ain't got the braces. Yo, this is dope. This is dope. I'm digging this art. So basically Capcom is moving everything over to RE engine. Street fighter. But he's got scars. Why has he got scars on his face? He's got scars on his face. Yeah, he's got scars. Like scars here, and scars there. I don't know what what happened to him because he didn't have that in, in Street Fighter Five. Like, he looks yeah, he looks giddy as hell though. Street Fighter. Yo, this new logo is pretty. Dope. It's very modern. This is a very modern logo, and I, I dig it. I really dig it. I like it. So SF6, they went for simple. It looks like you could even take this further. It looks like they're in a goddamn octagon. You could say they're in an octagon. Yo. Yo, the steez. The steez. Yeah, it looks like they're in the octagon, especially when you look at like everything here from the beginning. We're going to run it one more time. It looks like they're in a the fight. They're in a the fight arena. All right, you ready? This team goes hard, though. Yo, that thing goes hard though. That thing goes hella hard. Yo, but uh I dig it. I dig it. I think it looks dope. I think Street Fighter and the RE engine looks hella good. I'm glad that they stepped away from doing like the more cartoonish style. I think it's time it was time for Street Fighter to evolve to something more. So yeah, and, and this completely separates it from Street Fighter 5 and 4. Which is good, which is good. 
Um, and the characters look proportioned because th these are going to be the in-game models too. So I'm curious as to what happened to Luke, why he has the scars, because he didn't have them in Street Fighter V. So I'm assuming this looks like a time jump from where he was. Was this even the same voice actor? It sounded older or like a different voice actor. But maybe I'm just misremembering. Uh, mis but he didn't have uh, braces. His hairstyle looks, you know, more modern, more like, you know, uh, Justin Bieber. But it works. He looks, the, it looks like a better overall model than what it was before. And then you also got the fact that um, Ryu, his his look is, you know, it's, it's steezy. Like, he's got some real good drip there. But anyways, I mean, the only thing I'm hoping is that Ryu is not fighting the, the Satsui no Hado again. F please, Capcom, drop that. Like, I know he overcame it in, in 5, but he technically overcame it in 4. So please don't retcon that again. Let's this this looks like this is post Street Fighter 3, and I'm happy with it. Anyways, once you guys let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of this reveal? Are you hyped for it? I'm hyped. I think this shit looks amazing, but we got to talk about it. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this reaction. If you enjoyed my analysis and breakdown of the trailer, the teaser trailer, make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you haven't already, share it with someone you think would enjoy it. And also, make sure you check us out over on patreon.com slash MikelCastanova if you want to support the content or become a channel member. All that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Be blessed. Be easy. And make sure you have a little high rest of your day. i see you on the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well as coffee which I would love to be drinking some coffee right now which I am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on Teespring and Public, so make sure you go check that out and all that being said I just hope to see you in the next video that I put out so hey see you around